my learners. Welcome to an academy. I am Ramesh Singh. This is a channel to give you proper idea about a term of economics a day at a time. So this channel, I would like to help you understand a term of economics which was in news recently. You know, whenever such term comes in news, we are flooded with information from all around. And normally, what happens with aspirants? If they are unable to understand what exactly this term is all about, not only that, how questions might be asked on them in examination, they fail to have the clues. So, my aim will be in this short video letting you know the inside and outside of the particular term, its legacy, where from this term came into being. Because you know, the term belonging to economics, why they make news in case of Indian economy? It must be having some relation with India. Otherwise, it will never appear in news. Either a policy has been changed by the government or some problems are being faced by stakeholders. These are the reasons. Okay? So, today's term of the day is inverted custom duty. You might have heard that. Okay? And inverted custom duty is part of inverted duty structure. You will find this term referred in, you can say, literature referred in literature as inverted, inverted duty structure, duty structure. Here, inverted is common. Duty is means a stand for tax. A structure means basically the nature and the composition of a particular tax. And Inverted custom duty is one of the examples of inverted duty structure. You see what is inverted? When your face is downward, this is inverted. Okay? Very first. Okay? And this term has been in news in media in relation to Indian economy for the last several years, not right now several years. Clear? What exactly inverted custom duty is? Okay? Let us try to understand the words used in this. The first word is inverted. Inverted here stands for basically face down. Your face down. This is inverted. You must be knowing what custom is basically. Custom duty is a tax which is imposed, which is imposed by a government on either on either exports or imports. Normally, what we see. When a country imposes tax on imports, we call it custom duty. But custom duty may be imposed on exports also. Normally, countries don't do that. Why? Because if you impose tax on your exports, your business houses won't be able to export much and this will discourage you earn foreign currency. Correct? But at times, exports are also taxed and imposed with custom duty. You might have heard this suppose there is a city of pulses in country. The government normally either bans export of pulses or it imposes 5%, 10%, 50% tax on custom to increase the price of exports. It discourages 
India's export houses to export pulses and finally for our domestic requirements enough pulses are remaining in the country clear so we can say that inverted custom duty is a structure of custom duty in which tax has it face down ab you need to understand ki what do you mean by face down in this case okay let's try to understand with an example the example is like this ki suppose imagine a product that is paper powder paper powders or a smartphones was paper recorders are out of fashion so let us take more relevant and contemporary example that is a smartphones okay. in case of a smartphones what will happen a some export phones are imported some export phones are imported by india okay and a smartphones can be produced produced in india two cases are there case one case two up to produce a smartphone india because this will be better it will be always better to manufacture smartphones in india over importing it from outside countries okay but now to produce a smart force in india you need basically a variety of a variety of components components which components are basically known as inputs raw materials clear ab suppose ki in production process of a particular smartphone a company is going to use 10 imported 10 imported inputs inputs clear and on these 10 imported inputs import tax that is custom duty duties are differentiated for suppose a gross gross custom duty gross custom duty is 25% of the value of the value okay it means ki if an indian company wants to manufacture a smartphone in india to import 10 of its components from foreign country normally it is china in case of india it will have to pay 20% in the form of tax okay on the other hand the imported suppose we imported a smartphones a smartphones are imposed only 15% custom duty so if you manufacture mobile phone in india it will be 10% cost here due to this what happens due to due to this difference due to this difference in custom duties custom duties on inputs and finished finished goods that is a smartphone okay a smartphone due to this difference in custom duty of inputs and a finished good that is smartphone imported phones imported phones will be 10% cheap clear 10% cheap because on imported phones we are imposing 15% custom duty and on inputs which you require to produce them you are imposing 
higher taxes, that is 25%. So, India, India met smartphones will be 10% costly. This discourages, this encourages, this encourages imports of, imports of smartphones and discourages, discourages domestic, domestic companies to produce them in country itself. Did you understand? This situation is known as, this situation is of inverted, inverted custom duty. This is what exactly this term is. Of now precisely speaking, what exactly inverted custom duty is when due to certain reasons, custom duties on raw materials are on higher side and custom duties on finished goods are on lower side. Such duty structures, such structures of custom duties are known in economics as inverted custom duty. This is to the extent the concept of inverted custom duty is concerned. Okay? Now, you should know basically its legacy. Why this came into being? Because in case of India, there are great many finished goods where you find this kind of anomaly. Legacy is that after independence, our, our manufacturing capacity, our manufacturing capacity was capacity was not so good. And over it, over it, we needed, we needed great many, great many finished products for our use, products for our use. In such a scenario, the immediate solution was to encourage imports of finished goods and discourage domestic manufacturing of those goods. Why domestic manufacturing was discouraged? Because such a situation you find in late, late 1960s and early, early 1970s, even whole of 1970s. Because if you impose lower custom duty on raw materials, okay, domestic industry will be encouraged to produce them. But to produce them, they need technology, they need further capital, where from India will be able to make them available, because either we have technology, nor we have enough capital. So, and we needed finish good. So, ultimately, government of the time decided, hey, let's encourage imports of those finished products in India, which India is unable to produce. But, particularly after, particularly after, particularly after economic reforms, after economic reforms started in country, India started encouraging domestic manufacturing. And now is the time to dismantle. Now was the time to dismantle this anomaly. And year after year, on great many sectors, this anomaly was resolved by government of India. Okay? This anomaly government wanted to resolve in years to come. And even today, in many sectors, legacy issues are there. Older policies are 
being carried forward because you know in such a scenario a status quo helps everybody except economic system overall clear so be careful he without if you are trying to encourage india to go for aap nirbhar aap nirbhar bharat okay so aap nirbhar bharat is not possible without encouraging domestic manufacture or when government has started emphasizing aap nirbharta since 2020 2021 one by one several such sectors are being reviewed by government of india and the anomaly of inverted custom duty is being resolved one by one okay i hope i was able to give you objective and subjective idea together with policy legacies of past related to inverted duty structure okay you can subscribe this channel by clicking on subscribe button so that you are getting enough info out of this channel and an academy in general i will suggest you to use the brand telegram the link is given here okay thank you very much for watching